In this workshop you will learn how to make salt stove fossils. Fossils are the remains of once living things preserved in stone or other matter. Let's begin by searching the Hugh Lane Gallery. Sometimes it is just as important to look down. The floor in Francis Bacon's studio complex is blue limestone from the Kilkenny Carlow region. It was carefully sourced from special shell or fossil beds and features relics of ancient oysters. These are the organic spirals and circles you see in the stone. To make your own fossil, you should go on a nature walk. Gather organic materials that have interesting shapes and textures, such as leaves, branches and twigs. You could also go to the beach to see what you find there. Picking up different types of shells. Not all of the materials you find at the beach are organic. Some are man-made and come from boats. Bring your collection home. Allow any flowers or branches that are soft to dry out. Wash the objects you collected from the beach. Now to make the salt dough. Mix one cup of plain flour with half a cup of water and half a cup of salt. Mix the three ingredients together to make a dough. Do not eat this dough. It is too salty. Sprinkle some flour on your work surface so the dough doesn't stick to it. Roll the dough into a ball and flatten it with your hands to an oval shape 2 cm thick. Press your materials into the dough. I used shells and branches to create the imaginary fossil of a lizard. I also drew in the dough using a feather. Keep experimenting and making imprints. When your fossils are ready, you need to bake them in the oven for three hours at a low heat. The fossils should be solid when you remove them from the oven. The salt dough can now be painted. Mix black and white paint to make a grey stone colour. Brush the paint lightly over the dough. Add white paint to the imprints. I added different tones of grey to make the dough look more like stone. Please share your salt dough fossils with us on social media at the Hulane and we will share them with all our followers.